It be funny like that in the hood sometimes, man. You gotta stand on your word. Watch your back. Self-experience is the best experience of living. But free game is the best secondhand choice of living and decisions. Welcome to watch. Joint down projects. Let's get it in. You already know the deal, man. You know, the Great Street TV. And today we gonna hop in this exclusive review. Talk about Wack One at the Jaw Jacket, man. Only thing he good with is his mouth, man. He should have been a dyke, man. Straight up, man. Listen. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. You already know the deal, man. We finna hop into these clips. Then we gonna zero back in on this coward and break him down to the very last compound, man. And if you ain't hit that like and that subscribe button yet, that's what you need to be doing. You know what I mean? But if not. Already know the deal, man. I'm hit y'all with a movie clip every time, man. Straight up. Where you roll up with it? Talk that game. No, shit right there, man. Shut the fuck up. Y'all think it's funny, right? Jesus is crazy. What, well, man? I can't say that. What? What you mean I you can't I can... say that? Who is that? Every yard I've been to, blood, the pile. Wait, hold on. Who is that? Same person you've been talking to, bro. But, nigga, you the crip, nigga. How you know? These dudes can't think like grown men. The homie just said, I can't say that. They don't understand that. Like I just said, I, I can't say that. So you the crip. How you know what the fuck we do, bro? I can't we say We don't that. know what the fuck y'all do. Whack no hunting. Always make yourself look stupid. Tell me, we don't know what y'all do, but you always speaking on Is crip. you listening or you just arguing like you love to do? No, it's just <laughs> real, nigga. <laughs> I can't say that because I like you just hey, said wait, I wouldn't never been in your You see what the homie say is you gonna listen or you just gonna argue like you love to do, man. This nigga's a real dyke, man. Nah, nigga, say, oh, you ain't nigga gonna be room, you man. from Grape Street, my nigga. nigga you, you missing summertime. You know what the body no, others do, no, nigga? No, let him rap. Hide out. Yeah, let him talk. Black Hold on, you know what the body others know, do, you know? nigga? Now y'all see like I say, old girl said, man, let him talk. He's screaming like a hoe, man. This is what he do. Hide out. You from Great Street? Come on, nigga. On Paru, nigga. Don't disrespect the homies like that, bro. Whack Dyke Hunter sounded like he want to cry. Y'all hear his voice cracking up. You know, you know, homie. Yeah, that nigga's mark. Yeah, yeah, if, you on, fame, right, hey, no if you want to fade, hey, if you want to fade with one of them niggas, bro, listen, I can have Runt go bring you, and I go bring one of the hunters, bro. Don't. Now y'all see, like I say, he trying to switch the subject and put somebody else in a twist, like. He's a mark, straight up. Being in there disrespecting no the homies. Man, listen, bro. You just said, do I know what y'all do? I said, no, I can't say that. Well, nigga, get out of our business, then. Get out of our business. I'm not been around one. Get out of our business. Get out of our business, out, not, like, get out our business to come get put on. Same way you feel, that's how we feel, man. Stay out of our motherfucking business, nigga. Stay out of crip politics, nigga. That's what you do. Chill out. Okay, now y'all see, like I say, you know what I mean? We gonna zero back in on this, you know what I mean? Ball headed ass dyke. You know, like 100. He's like a buff ass ninja turtle, so he gets mad when the crib asks him questions about Damo business, but at the end of the day, he's in everybody's business. You in crib business all day, man. You in everybody's room, you in the clubhouse, hiding behind the club, kicking people out, so you can talk your little high power shit, and it could be all over the internet, but. Plenty of times you've been chased out your own rooms and all that. Big fat that's been told up to run around presenting false ass bullshit ass um, paperwork on people. So if you want to keep it in the politics, man, you don't even supposed to be doing that type of shit, man. You don't even supposed to be conducting yourself like that. At the end of the day, man, like like I was saying, you were supposed to be born a woman. But something happened in the process and it fucked it up. And it fucked it off for all of us because. We got a pillow talking fuck boy that's supposed to be involved in gang politics. And you speaking on all type of fuck shit. Like, as far as your age, you should be on here. You know what I mean? Setting an example. Like, you know what I mean? If you're going to die, move. Whatever you call yourself, you need to be doing that shit correctly and conducting yourself. And that way you should be conducting yourself because you starting all this bullshit with different people. You speaking on everybody. And... You know what I mean, you call yourself, you managing a few people, and you have to go to shows, and you will be ran into, you know what I mean, by a lot of people, so you get your shit fucked up. You feel me?
So it don't matter how it's done, whether they dope fiend, knock you out, tell you throw your shit up. So no, gonna fire your shit up, man, straight up. So what I really wanna tell you, man, like I said once before, keep great feet out your mouth, man. That's what you need to be doing. Cause at the end of the day, the motherhoods and different people ain't gonna speak on that shit like. But everybody know we don't play that shit. Don't run around here trying to troll my homies, my nigga. Cause at the end of the day, you ducking plenty of fame. You been called out by plenty of people. And you even spoke on the New Jersey grapes. Didn't even know what the fuck you was talking about. Kept telling you from New York. But eventually he ran you out the room. Cause you on that fake bullshit politic type shit, man. And all I ever hear you do is run your mouth, run for fame. You try to make it like about somebody else when somebody's approaching you about, you know what I mean? You and them, they're asking you to fade. And you got that attitude like, yeah, I can't go home. Like you said once before, you don't want to go home. Your family with black eyes and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? So keep your fucking mouth shut then, so. You too old for the shit you doing, man. And you got an image that you can make a big impact in the world, not just the gang culture, but the shit you doing. You teaching motherfuckers to conduct themselves like you. Certain people, the youth that's growing up, you know what I mean? Watching this shit. And your shit is borderline, watered down. Fully watered down, I got on the face. Yeah, so you was talking to the New Jersey great. And you basically saying you don't acknowledge people out of state. Like Go different hoods. Basically, town. you mean it from LA County. Like within the gang culture. Like you don't acknowledge them. You don't care. Like you just throwing accusations out there talking about y'all snitched on him, y'all did this. You doing what you always do, man. You trolling and you just making up shit, man. Like we all know, man, you running a uh, clubhouse shit and you got a lot of people running what you did, right? And the biggest thing I want to speak on is like, it's it's a lot of crips that's letting you talk that fuck shit and get them in situations with their homies, whether you speaking and bringing the shit up. Like, just all up, man, you just argue like a bitch, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you argue like a bitch. You, you don't got nothing to do but just troll all day. Be on the internet. Like, stop playing, man. You're not really like that, man. Your homies done got on you. Like, nobody really fuck with you like that, man. And some people dick ride you because they want to be on Clubhouse or they want to just get some type of view, go viral one time or something. And, you know, that that's something that shit, niggas shouldn't even be doing. And... I also want to speak on the 6 9 situation. You said business. It ain't about street. So, at the end of the day, you broke the beat code all the way around, my nigga. Like, we do not fuck with snitches. I don't give a fuck what the case may be. We're not fucking with snitches. We don't do snitches. You did a snitch. You explained it in so many different ways. The real niggas, we don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking about. You, you dealt with a snitch. So before you sit back and point out people's flaws, man, point out your own flaws. How like your homies were saying, you, you you fucked up in your hood, like you turn people against each other and all that, like, you know what I mean? And real niggas don't do that type of shit, man. So you got your own homie speaking bad about you. And basically the whole internet is talking bad about you. And the dick riders that you got with you, maybe the people that you recruited. Or you paying them, or whatever the case may be, but ain't enough money in the world worth for a nigga to sell his soul and turn and be on some whole ass shit, you know what I mean? Like, real dyke ass nigga, man. He should have really been a female, like. And a man, I'm just telling you, man, put all that whole shit, keep Grey Street out your mouth, that's what you need to do. I really don't give a fuck about all that other shit, how motherfuckers letting you, you know what I mean? 
turn niggas against their own homies and that type of shit on the internet and you speaking on crib business. You need to stay out of crib business since you don't want Crips asking you questions about Damo business. You know what I mean? You heard straight up. Like, you on some straight hoe shit and stay in your lane. Like you told old oh boy, stay in your lane. Like, stay in Damo politics. Stay out of crib politics, man. You ain't welcome. But, yeah. I ain't gonna waste too much time on this mark, man. Now y'all see what type of whole type nigga he is, man. I ain't got time to be arguing back and forth with no internet, man. You gotta get straight to the point. Like, man, you know what I mean? Keep great shit out your mouth. And, straight up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stay out of crib politics. I hope y'all enjoyed this review right here. Make sure y'all hit that like and that subscribe. And if y'all ain't done that yet, that's what you need to be doing. Make sure you hit that bell for all notifications. So when I drop these reviews, they pop up on your timeline like the chicken pops, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, you got to know what you're doing. Where did you roll up with? Listen. Talk that game.